is Mojo. And Mojo allows me to do some graphics for these videos. So like this right here, where I say, if you're enjoying this video and this is helping you out, like and subscribe. I made that on Mojo and I've imported it in, into LumaFusion, right? All these different things, like here's my Instagram. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ben Talks Tech. Excited to have you back. If you've seen the first video that I posted, this is my second, I hope you liked it. I'm back for a little bit more. This is a channel where we talk about tech and how it enriches our lives lives and today going off my first video I told everybody I got myself a 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the M1 chip what are my top five apps that I use for this device and as much as it's just I use it for my iPad Pro this can be used across almost every iPad so you can take it as you will in that regard I just think it takes it to another level with the iPad Pro that I have here the 12.9 inch right behind me with that being said I was thinking about doing my top five free apps these apps are not free there's some that are partially free but the reason I did that is because sometimes you got to pay for quality and these apps enrich my life and maybe if you guys want it, comment below. I can do the top five free apps for you as well. But these ones are my top five apps. So starting out with number one, I think everybody needs an app to sort of organize their lives. For me, that's Notability. I love this app and especially on the iPad, the way the Apple Pencil support works. It feels exactly like I'm writing on a piece of paper. I love that and I think Organizing yourself is super, super important. I write budgets on there, grocery lists. And on top of that, I plan this YouTube channel on there. What do I need to do? What are the next steps? And I really organize myself. So it's really elevated me. This app is actually free on iPad. Uh, I pay for it and I believe it's $14.99 a year subscription. And the reason I pay for it is because it allows me to back up onto the cloud. And this way I can look at the notes I've made on my iPhone. I believe there's a Apple Watch app. I haven't used it yet but that ability to use it anywhere I go and allow it to speak to each other is super, super important to me. And that's why I love this app in particular. And there's something to be said about highlighting uh, when you're done something, that, that sense of accomplishment. So if you haven't, get something to organize yourself. My favorite is Notability. I know there's multiple other ones, but for the way the Apple Pencil works on it, I think that's the best. I recommend you use Notability. That's my favorite. App number Two, for me, has to be LumaFusion. And the reason being is this video is getting edited on LumaFusion. And with the M1 iPad Pro, with the 12.9 inch mini LED screen, with the ProMotion display, it is so buttery smooth. I have a Sony mirrorless camera that I'm shooting this video on and the files are quite heavy and it cuts through it like butter and I love it. It's super simplistic to use. I've used Adobe Premiere before. I've never used Final Cut so I wouldn't know but getting into video editing that's new will be able to pick this up and learn very quickly. Even a child I believe could learn it at some point right and I think that intuitiveness in some of the iPad apps is super important. The ease of use right so for what I need it for it is amazing and one other thing I used to do Adobe Premiere on an older laptop an Intel based gaming laptop and uh, export times in 4k were over an hour I exported my first video in 4k and it took an eight minute video and it exported it in four minutes so half the time so for me that's amazing and it really speeds up my workflow so I, I know the M1 chip helps in that regard but I know the other iPads are pretty powerful too so I would say LumaFusion is really really awesome to get into LumaFusion is $39.99 Canadian and that's a lifetime license I believe and the tools you're getting for $39.99 are amazing app number Three would have to be Procreate. If you have an iPad and you have an Apple Pencil, Procreate is awesome. The brushes you get, the ability to edit things and draw on that. You're getting, with Apple Pencil support, you're getting the closest thing to pen and paper without the mess, right? I love this app. It was, I believe, $13.99 for a lifetime license. And I believe it's worth every penny. Within saying that too, I want to get into digital artwork. Everything is already in a digital form. So that's awesome. And I can work with different brushes, different strokes, different watercolors and designs. And that's the that's why Procreate is so awesome. And then one other thing I personally want to do, and maybe I'll make a video about it later on, is NFT. So digital artwork is blowing up. I really want to use this as a tool to not only learn about how, how to make NFTs, but put it all together and, and make one. So it'd be funny because at the end of the day, I'm going to use Notability to make the notes 
on how to make an NFT, a YouTube episode based on that. I'm gonna use LumaFusion to, to edit it and I'm gonna use Procreate to create these NFTs, right? My success might vary. I'm gonna try it out. And I think that is awesome in, in its own regard. App number four, if you're editing any kind of video or you have any kind of social media presence is Mojo. And Mojo allows me to do some graphics for these videos. So like this right here, where I say, if you're enjoying this video and this is helping you out, like and subscribe, I made that on Mojo and I've imported it in, into LumaFusion, right? All these different things, like here's my Instagram, those things, that graphic was made on Mojo. And I think it's a really, really cool app and it could really elevate your social media presence or the fit and finish on your videos. So if you get an opportunity, I would definitely recommend to try it. There's a three day free trial. And if it helps you out in any regard, I would say pay the $49.99 yearly subscription. For me, it's worth it because I think it elevates these videos and it really helps me make graphics quickly. I don't have After Effects experience or anything like that. And there might be other apps like Canva, which are awesome, but I've found Mojo, it works for me. And and within saying that, I would think it's essential for anybody video editing and that wants a social media presence. App number five. So app number five for me is not really an app. So it's Apple One. And I gotta pull this up so I don't forget. So I'm gonna grab my iPhone. So I have Apple One and there's different tiers. There's an individual, which is 1595 Canadian. There's a family, which is 2095 Canadian. And there's my plan. I use the Premier, which is 3395 Canadian. And the, the Premier one that I use allows me to use it for five devices. So my wife and I have iPhones. We have an iPad. We have an Apple TV. My kids have iPads as well, right? So every one of our device, first and foremost, gets Apple Music. So within that, if you think about it, I think Apple Music is $9.99. Five devices, that's $50, right? So we share that. We enjoy Apple music there's Apple TV on all those devices as well which is really really awesome if you haven't seen it watch the morning show my wife and I love it Ted Lasso's next tell me if you think it's awesome also Apple Arcade which is awesome because game on this thing I never really game because I didn't have time for councils but the portability of this thing and putting it anywhere and just using it and the battery life I don't even need it plugged in I play a little bit of Call of Duty we've been playing Sonic Racing and Apple Arcade also works on the Apple TV so we run that as a gaming console too we're not a gaming family but that having that on the side just to enjoy is super important and the kids love it so Apple Arcade is pretty pretty awesome in its own right we have iCloud so we back everything out to iCloud the premiere comes with two terabytes of storage haven't used it all up but between our whole family I think that is definitely worth it something that's underrated is Apple News I really like after you start searching for things how it curates all the news and all these articles for you Apple News is under the radar I feel sometimes between my friends who have Apple devices and I might be wrong but I really enjoy it. I like catching up on the news. I like how it's curated to what I like. I've started searching cryptocurrency. Everybody searches COVID. I don't know, but these are the things that come up and it turns out to be local. I'm an Ontario native, so in that sense, um, yeah, it gives me news that's that's close to me as well. So I really appreciate how Apple News works as well. And lastly, Apple Fit. Okay, where were we? Um, I had a crying baby next door, so I have a 10 month old at home, hashtag dad life. So I think the last thing I was talking about was Apple Fitness. My wife and I have our Apple Watches and we love them and we're able to use it to do workouts, right? And especially in the day and age of COVID uh, where gyms are getting open and closed, it was nice, we built our a little bit of a home gym she's done the yoga and the other there's a bunch of different classes uh, that she likes and I myself bought a cycling bike uh, and I did a peloton hack TV down there with the Apple TV and, and I do cycling classes and if you'd really like to see a video on that I can show you how the Apple watch works and how it's enriched my life and that's in included in itself so I have music news games and a gym for five people in the household so $34 sound like a lot absolutely to me 34 Canadian it, it is worth everything that I'm getting and with an Apple each and every app is actually internal to Apple so you know you're getting the best of the best and for me it's worth it and if you can get a family member right I know some of you are probably stealing somebody's Netflix see if you can steal some of their Apple one membership right all jokes aside I think it's worth it even if it's the individual I think it will elevate your life and on a side note this iPad Pro has the most amazing speakers. When you listen to Apple Music, uh, the bass and everything, I, I use it as an individual speaker. It is awesome. With that being said, those are my top five app for my iPad Pro, but it's for any iPad. I can also do some top five free apps, right? I do think you pay for quality, but there are some great free apps. Wait for that episode and a bunch more. I really appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. And within saying that, I'm Ben and I'm out.